Crush Restaurant, based in Seattle, Washington, is one of the most respected and popular restaurants in the Pacific Northwest. Owner and head chef Jason Wilson creates modern American cuisine that has garnered both critical acclaim and a loyal fan base from around the country. Named Best Chef Northwest 2010 from the James Beard Foundation and Wine Spectator's Award of Excellence 2010, Jason continues to innovate and lead the culinary movement in the Northwest with his special brand of cuisine. A demand for the highest quality ingredients and a passion for the very best techniques are the foundation for his incredible success. Jason Wilson has fully embraced the sous vide cooking technique at Crush Restaurant, using it extensively since 2004. We were lucky enough to catch up with Jason as he walked us through the mechanics of his kitchen set up at Crush. So I'll give you a quick layout or a quick tour of the, of the, the downstairs kitchen here, or of Crush Kitchen. So this is kind of the sous vide area, um, fabrication area. <coughs> we're doing, here we're doing uh, vegetable fabrication and then it'll transfer into meats when we're done with the vegetables and the root vegetables and so forth. So I have a sous vide supreme chef here and here and the back master chamber sealer here. I'm actually pulling out some beets. Let me get these going here. <clears throat> so I've got some bags set up to my, my left and so I can say, okay, well, this is gonna be where I'm gonna do my sous vide and my vacuum sealing. There's uh, refrigeration units over here for my proteins. So the proteins are gonna have all of my storage where I receive the fresh products that go in here. After they've been vacuum sealed or cooked sous vide, they go in there. And then we have some uh, refrigeration here for produce. So uh, one of my favorite little spaces we have is the spice rack. <clears throat> yeah, and everything is, um, uh, I guess well kept in, in to order, but it's also um, alphabetical. Um, we have some little fun little powders and freeze drieds and a uh, little bit of um, uh, toys as we call them. Uh, we play with down here, um, some vinegars and then little bits of salts. Um, but this is one of the, the things that we like to do is to infuse flavors, um, whether it be world spices or just natural um, grains and spices that we use to be able to bring flavor up. Um, Ice cream machine does obviously our ice cream on a day in, day out basis. In the basement we use induction to cook um, stocks. So this is a remiage or a second boil of uh, veal stock that we're doing for the beef short rib sauce. Um, we have another sous vide supreme chef here that's going to be utilized to do, right now it's got pig ears in it. So we're doing a pickled pig's ears for a salad that we'll have. And then uh, our back door now I think that uh, every place we have space we've incorporated whiteboards to be able to do um, brainstorming. So you may have seen them on the other, on the kitchen doors over here. Um, dry spices and um, dry grains and rices and so forth. Fresh vegetables, this is where we receive our products is through this back door. Um, citruses and so forth. In the summertime, you'll see tomatoes and berries and all this because everything will stay at the room temperature for which it should be. Um, and then we have basic pans and, um, uh, and cookware. Um, our pastry kitchen is in the other room over here on the other side. So now we're in our pastry kitchen and there's a convection oven over here that we utilize for a la minute baking of cakes but also Laurie, our pastry chef, does the breads, butters, cakes and so forth and batters. Um, it's all made down here in, um, in their pastry land as we say. Now I have a, a specially strong sweet tooth so I tend to spend a lot of time over here. Um, but as you can see we do breads on a daily basis. So this is the rosemary roasted garlic baguettes that we make. And then um, Gruyere cheese gougeres, still warm. And um, if you can see, where's the pretzels? So in Lori's hands right now are pretzels that she's making for service. Um, and then upstairs is our finishing kitchen. And we'll head up here to do, do service. So this is our finishing kitchen the upstairs kitchen. This is kind of the, the show as we call it or <clears throat> um, the area where everyone can watch and see what happens. So the, the entrance way is um, strategically placed where I can watch everyone coming in and out of the doors. But obviously the, the bar here allow, allows customers to come in and watch the show of the kitchen. Over here on the far side on my far left is the fish station. We've segregated the stations into fish and meat based on the proteins they're picking up. But that being said, Brian also cooks foie gras each night. A lot, a lot of foie gras. Um, Walter works on the meat station, but he also works with pasta. There's, uh, we have the a la carte menu, and then we also run a seven and nine course tasting menu as well. 
So they all kind of work together, bring the, the taste menu together. This is uh, the pass, as you would say, where the plates are finished. <coughs> it is immaculate and very, very tiny because you know, we do things very, very fast around here, bringing the plates from this stance straight out to the customers. You'll see a sous vide supreme chef off to the side. This is being used tonight to um, hold duck eggs for service, um, to hold the lamb dish, the short ribs, the, the duck uh, breast, and then also the spring salad. The sous vide supreme chefs, having them downstairs and upstairs, allows us to, to utilize two different techniques, um, but basically the same technique. So we're sous vide cooking downstairs. It's a compound cook where we'll cook something to a certain point, arrest the cooking or stop it in an ice bath, and then we bring it up here to resume that cooking or to warm it correctly. We also up here will cook a la minute, which means that we'll take a raw piece of product, say fish, poultry, beef, and put it in there for a certain period of time and cook it to the, the point at which it's done. So it's, it's become for us uh, very, very versatile because it's allowing us to do everything that we need to do um, and still create food in a very, very uh, expeditious fashion. The temperature control is one of the most important parts because you, you think uh, there's study, studies about cooking an egg and one degree of temperature in an egg will change not only the yolk or the albumin or both. So to have the, the temperature come out correctly on say an egg that, that one degree holding is, is crucial. The same is true for cooking the protein of say a, a duck breast, a chicken breast, uh, or a piece of beef, a steak. So one of the cool things that we, you know, we talked about with that differentiation in temperature, you can see you know, 145, it's gonna stay there at that temperature. And when we speak about maintaining temperature, it's important because a degree of difference in a, in a poached egg will yield a totally different uh, albumin or yolk or both. So in this case, We've actually started the cooking process for um, duck eggs. This egg will maintain, the, as long as the temperature is maintained, it'll maintain the same result throughout the, the whole evening of service. The great thing about the technique of cooking sous vide is that once the temperature is reached, it doesn't really change the, the longer effect of the protein or a longer effect of the product. Now, if you raise the temperature, it will cook it faster. And if you take it, leave it in there for a long period of time, it will eventually denature the protein. What we're looking to do though is we can maintain it for an hour or two like this with an egg, with a piece of duck in there. It's just gonna become better and better and better.